This video is going to look at acids and bases. And to begin with, I want to go to a slide from an earlier video, but I want to focus on just the top portion of this sidebar that we saw in the ionic bonding video that says that substances that dissociate in water to form ions are called electrolytes. So another term for electrolyte is the term salt. And some salts, when they dissociate in water, will yield hydrogen ions or free protons, and others will yield hydroxide ions or OHs, OH minuses. Now, free protons are particularly important here because they represent pure positive charge. So if there's either a real deficiency in free protons in an aqueous solution or an overabundant excess, it could greatly influence hydrogen bonding. So remember, hydrogen bonds are weak bonds involving partial electrical charges. Radically changing the amount of pure positive charge present could greatly influence hydrogen bonds and greatly influence the shape of things like I know, proteins. So let's take a look at substances that influence hydrogen bonds by influencing hydrogen ion concentration. Acids are substances, salts, that act as proton donors. These are substances that will increase the hydrogen ion concentration in solution. So let's look at some examples. Here's hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, acetic acid, carbonic acid, glutamic acid, and stearic acid. Each one of these has the capacity to add hydrogen ions, free protons, to solution by dissociating in water. So here we're seeing each one dissociate. Each one's adding protons to solution through its dissociation and increasing the hydrogen ion concentration. They all act as acids for that reason. Bases are those substances that act as proton acceptors. They're substances that will decrease hydrogen ion concentration, often, but not always, by increasing hydroxide ion concentration. To act as a base, you simply need to lower the free proton concentration in solution. You don't have to form hydroxides. That's one way to do it, though. Again, let's look at some examples. Here we have potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, methylamine, urea, asparaginine, and adenine. These are all bases because each one has the ability to influence hydrogen ion concentration by lowering it. So many of them will, as we see here, dissociate to form hydroxides, which remove a hydrogen from solution. Others will bond directly with it and remove it from solution by directly taking in that free proton. Either way, each of these bases, as we just saw, removed at least one hydrogen ion from solution and lowered the hydrogen ion concentration. Remember, acids are proton donors that increase hydrogen ion concentration. Bases are proton acceptors that lower hydrogen ion concentration. Acids and bases affect aqueous solutions by changing hydrogen concentration, and hydrogen ion concentration is measured as pH.